Google has just released Gemini CLI. It seems that Google is now going into this AI race with all guns blazing. In this video, we are going to install this new free open source Gemini CLI locally and we will see how exactly you configure it and then how you use it. This is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. Before we get it installed, let's talk a bit more about this CLI. So as I said, it's an open source AI agent CLI designed to integrate Google's Gemini models directly into a developer's command line interface. It acts as a versatile local utility that allows users to leverage AI for a wide range of tasks beyond just coding, including content generation, problem solving, and research all through natural language prompts in the terminal. The tool is also integrated with Gemini Code Assist, which we already have covered on the channel, that ensures a consistent AI experience for developers, whether they are working in the command line or a compatible IDE like VS Code. A key feature of this Gemini CLI is its accessibility and power, offering a generous free tier for individual developers that includes access to Gemini 1.5 Pro, a 1 million token context window, and high daily request limits. It is built to be highly functional with capabilities to ground prompts using Google search for real-time context automate tasks within scripts and also manipulate files. As an open source and extensible tool, developers can inspect the code, contribute to its improvement and also customize its behavior to suit their personal and team workflows and I will drop the link to its GitHub repo in video's description. So now let's get it installed. So I'm going to use this Ubuntu system but you can use any operating system out there. My GPU card is NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GB of VRAM, but I won't be using it because I will be using Gemini models from Google, which are the API based models. So let me start by creating a virtual environment with Coda. But just in case, if you're looking for some uh, very, very cheap VRAM GPUs, CPUs, VMs, then I would highly recommend Mast Compute and I will drop the link to their website with a discount coupon code of 50% for a range of GPUs. So please do check them out. The only prerequisite in terms of installation which you need is to have the latest version of Node installed. So you can check your Node version by running this command. So you can see that I am running this version 20. Two. I think if you are over 18, um, you should be good, but I would highly recommend you go with the latest version of Node. If you don't know how to get it installed, just go to my channel, search with Node, and you will find a very easy to follow video as how to get this Node, NPM, NPX, all of this stuff installed quite easily. Okay, so that's done. Now you can install this Gemini CLI by running this NPX and then the pass to the repo of this and you can simply say yes you want to install and you would need your free Google account in order to log in and authenticate because of course we will be using API based models so it is installing it while that does it let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are Camel AI. Camel is an open source community focused on building multi-agent infrastructures for finding the scaling laws with applications in data generation, task automation, and world simulation. Go back to the terminal and you can see that it is asking me what exactly uh, color scheme or theme I want to use. So I'm just going to go with a default and I'm just going to press enter here. So now this is another cool thing that you can log in with your Google account and it is going to give you all of this, which I mentioned here, all 60 model requests per minute and all this stuff. But if you want even higher stuff, then just go to Google's AI studio, which is AI studio.google.com. Grab your Gemini API key. There is also a free tier there and then you can use that, which will give you higher limits and broader selection of models. But I'm just going to go with this login with Google here. Okay, you see that it is uh, going to ask me to log in with my Google account. So uh, it has opened a new browser tab here. 
so let me go and log in with my google account and you can see that now gemini code assistant cli are now authorized so and you can use it anywhere not only in this browser but on any other system so let me go back here and now you can uh, just start talking with it so i'm just going to ask it hey smile you're on camera i'm recording this for youtube video it is saying converting coffee into code yep it's coffee time so let's wait for it acknowledging the situation and you can see that it is using gemini 2.5 pro and it is also telling me how much context is left there you go so it is talking about it now i'm just going to type my message now i just want to see if i can do file handling here so maybe i'll just type my present working directory is it able to show me up it can let's go to maybe the, the directory i recently did can i do this file manipulation the, okay so it doesn't have a persistent working directory now it is saying that okay would i'll say no you don't have to remember that so now what i'm going to do i'm just going to say okay um go to my directory home ubuntu sorry my code on my local system i just want to see if it is able to access that or not let's wait for it and i will let it run so would you see okay so it cannot do that which is fine which is actually a good thing okay now let me see if it can um, run any command so i'll say what is the top cpu consumer at the moment on this system So basically it's sort of a AI agent which can do a lot of stuff so it is asking me uh, if i allow running the command which is always good to have a human in the loop it has run the top command and it is just processing those top results pretty cool let's wait for it yep there you go so it has given me this answer that this is the firefox is the major one okay now let me show you a few more examples so I, I have just typed quit here and after quitting it is telling me that okay this is what i have done so far this is how many tokens i have consumed and all that stuff okay and it is just telling me to install the new version of npm which is fine we can ignore it now let's go to one of my directories and i will talk with one of the code here maybe i'll just go into this directory and i am just going to clear the screen and i'm just going to maybe launch gemini again okay i think i would just need to launch it from there so for now i have just run this npx command i can create the shortcut but i'm just going to go with this one now first time so i'm in that code directory i'll first say list all files in this directory let's wait for it and it has identified that the only file is f.file uh, can you summarize what this f.py is doing let's wait for it it is analyzing that and it has correctly identified that it's a python file and it has given me uh, yep that's correct it's it's part of my another video which i did where we were doing uh, testing the needle in the haystack for another model and it has correctly created it now i can simply just use it and create my readme file very nice okay so maybe i'll ask it can you convert this app.py to a node script let's see if it can do that yep seems like it let's wait for it so you can primarily talk with your existing projects you can decipher it you can try it out i'll just say yep 
and then you can do the code conversion you can do debugging you can do testing so whatever things there are which you can check out and i'm just going to select yes allow always a pretty nifty tool i would say there you go you see it is creating that index.js pretty cool So it has done the conversion as you can see and the code looks exactly uh, correct in terms of what i was doing earlier now the interesting bit is that i didn't ask it but it is asking me if it can remove that file the original one which i don't really want so i'll say no there you go pretty cool okay and then as i said not only normally with this coding assistant you can only do coding stuff but this one also allows you to um, have you know do the content generation so you can ask it that um maybe another question so i'm asking it to write a love letter to any celebrity of your choice let's see which celebrity model selects this comprehending formulating admiration should be fun to watch okay who is that Keanu Reeves, I have no idea who that is. So let me know if you know. Okay, in the matrix. Okay, I think I know who this model is talking about. But if you look at, you know, the response, it is extremely, extremely good. And that is the beauty of the Gemini model, which looks pretty good to me. Very nice. Another cool thing with this CLI is that you can use tools like Google Web Search. So for example, if I ask it, with Google web search that who is um, who is Fahad Mirza and what's his YouTube channel. So you see now it is using this tool, which is Google web search. And there are various other tools too, which you can access um, in their GitHub repo. And it is evolving fairly rapidly. There you go, you see, it has done the research and there you go. So it has found my channel on YouTube and it is telling me all about it. Pretty good. It is also talking about who exactly Fahad Mirza is. But you see, you cannot really trust the model and the responses. It says this, which is, well, I have covered like heaps of Alibaba cloud models, but I have done way, way more than that. So it's not just a particular focus on this, but everything LLM, we are welcoming to everyone out there. Now, not only you can make the Google search, but you can also fetch the content of the web. So, for example, I'm asking it to summarize the main points of this website, which is my own website, fahatmirza.com. So, you see, it is initializing the web extraction. It is fetching it. It is defining the tool use. And now, you can imagine that even that um, this limit can get exhausted pretty soon, by the way. Anyway, there you go. Exactly. So it has done wonderfully well around my blog and it has uh, extracted some of the key stuff from there. Pretty nifty, I would say. And the cool thing is that it also supports storing your memory. So for example, you can save the memory that the project I'm cur currently working on is called as Gemini CLI. Now it's a very basic functionality. Don't try to put everything in it, like important facts it stores. So, but it is already quite good so you can personalize it so you can create a project save some of the memory around that project that what exactly that is and it will remember it for your subsequent um, interactions with the tool and finally i just want to test out this um, conversion where i'm asking it to convert one file into from jpg to png and store it in my home directory let's see if it is able to do that or not and of course you can you know keep stretching the limit see what this cli is capable of and it is really capable even in this version so there you go so it is able to do it and it is orchestrating cell execution it has already done it which is quite cool so if i just quickly go here and where is my home directory it should be somewhere here there you go so this is a new multi it has created pretty nifty so that's it look i could keep playing around with it but very very impressive tool by google really hats off to them let me know what do you think please like the video and share it and if you haven't already subscribed please do so as it helps a lot thank you for watching